Welcome to the great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is the third and last part of sharing resources, a commandment of God. Let us go to the last article that we want to look at and see if it gives us more information and clues about what God has intended for sharing and caring. Bible verses about giving to the poor. Scripture tells us that it is always more blessed to give than receive. Christians should always give to the homeless and needy. God loves a cheerful giver. Christians are to be kind-hearted and loving with everyone even with our enemies. If we have it and a poor man asks for something and we don't help, how is God's love in us? Think about it. We have money to buy our favorite sweets, to rent a DVD, to splurge on things. But when it comes to someone other than ourselves, it becomes a problem. When it comes to other selfishness, it starts to kick in. We are told to be imitators of Christ. But was Christ thinking only about himself when he died on the cross? No. God has given you the opportunity to be a blessing to someone. Scripture makes it clear that when your heart is set on blessing others, God will bless you in the process. If you were in need, wouldn't you want someone to help you? Instead of judging, ask yourself that question whenever you see the needy. Always remember that those in need are Jesus in disguise. What does the Bible say? Romans 12.13 Supply the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Hebrews 13.16 Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Luke 3, 10 to 11 And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answered and said unto them, He that had two coats, let him impart to him that had none. And he that had meat, let him do likewise. Ephesians 4, 27-28 For anger gives a foothold to the devil. If you are a thief, quit stealing. Instead, use your hands for good hard work and then give generously to others in need. Give to everyone who asks you for something. Don't turn anyone away who wants to borrow something from you. Matthew 5, 42 be generous. Proverbs 22 9. Whoever has a bountiful eye will be blessed, for he shares his bread with the poor. Proverbs 19.17. The one who is gracious to the poor lends to the Lord, and the Lord will repay him for his good deed. Luke 8.38. Give and it will be given to you. A large quantity pressed together, shaken down and running over will be put into your lap, because you will be a evaluated by the same standard with which you evaluate others. Psalm 41, 1-3 For the choir director, a psalm of David. Oh, the joys of those who are kind to the poor. The Lord rescues them when they are in trouble. The Lord protects them and keeps them alive. He gives them prosperity in the land and rescues them from their enemies. The Lord nurses them when they are sick and restores them to health. Proverbs 29.7 The righteous considered the cause of the poor, but the wicked regarded not to know it. 1 Timothy 6.17-18 Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate. Blessed Psalm 112, 5-7 Good comes to those who lend money generously and conduct their business fairly. Acts 20 to 35 It is more blessed to give than to receive. Psalm 37, 26 The godly always give generously loans to others and their children are a blessing. Proverbs 11, 25-27 but blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it, 
he that diligently seeketh good procured favor. Psalm 112.9 Their righteousness endures forever. Their horn will be lifted up in honor. They have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. And there are many more others on this article. But I want to come down to the reminder here. In Deuteronomy 15, 7 to 8. If there should be a poor man among your relatives in one of the cities of the land that the Lord your God is about to give you, don't be hard-hearted or tight-fisted toward your poor relative. Instead, be sh sure to open your hand to him and lend him enough to lessen his needs. And then we come to the examples. And very important, listen to this. Matthew 19.21 Jesus said to him, If you would be perfect, go, sell what you possess and give it to the poor, and you will have treasures in heaven, and come, follow me. Acts 2.44 Following, and the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possession and shared the money with those in need. They worshipped together at the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper and shared their meals with great joy and generosity. And then Galatians 2.10 All they asked was that we should continue to remember the poor, the very thing I had been eager to do all along. This is an article that I will link to and you can see for yourself. There are more Bible verses in it. Please, please, brothers and sisters, also listen to the daily prophetic word for today about the commandment of sharing resources. Do not be selfish. Sharing of resources is a commandment that goes back to the Old Testament. And it is a commandment of the Lord and it has never ceased. It is always there. Whenever you receive a blessing, whenever you receive the resources, the Lord was behind it. And because the Lord is giving you the blessing, you should take a part of it and share it with other people, with the poor, the needy, the children, baby grace or whatever comes up. The idea of tithing and 10% tithing comes also from this old commandment of the gleaning of the field. Because it looked like that maybe 10% of the fields were not harvested and it was given to the poor and the strangers and the widows. But there is no real Bible verse about tithing. There is one that Abraham gave to the king of Salem 10% of what he has received from, from the war, but that is, I think, the only one. If not, you can correct me about that. Even if tithing is not in the Bible, sharing of resources is. And if we not come together in love, unity and support and share our resources and support one another, we will not be able to survive the sealed tribulation that will start now, very soon, most likely from the next months. So come forward, come together in love, unity and support. Share your resources. If you have a blessing of $1,500, share $500, keep $1,000. You still have a lot of funds, but you also have fulfilled the commandment of God to share the resources with the needy, the poor, the suffering, the nameless and faceless. I will put the link to our donation page at Patreon, where you can support the children in our mission to Cambodia or where you can support Baby Grace for the post-operational treatment. You can also send us a donation for the ministry there or you can send us a donation for the ministry to, at our paper link that I will also provide in the first pinned comment. Have a look, have an understanding about what it is about sharing and caring and supporting one another. It is love. And Jesus has commanded us brotherly love. There will be a time when you also be in need and then you will be so grateful that somebody will help you. So do not reject it. 
and say people are beggars or whatever. It is a commandment of the Lord. Go back to the Old Testament in the Bible and see that it is a commandment of the Lord to share your resources. Please watch our daily prophetic word for today to have a greater insight. Thank you that you have listened to this topic. This is now the conclusion of sharing of resources, a commandment of God. We had a three-part teaching and I hope you understand now why we are coming to you and ask you for support and sharing of your resources because it's a God-given command and it never ceased to apply. Thank you that you are true Christian and understand that and come forth and help. Everything that you will provide will help the children, will help baby grace and will help the ministry to go to all the nations so that we can win souls and can advance the heavenly kingdom. I love you all so dearly. Thank you for your help, your donations and your support. I hope I will see you again tomorrow for the next topic. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.